Hello, and welcome to the Drunken Upholster. Today, we're going to be talking about cowhide leather with fur on it. And we will be covering this little stool here. And we could talk about the uh, differences in using leather versus fabric and how to cut it and how to finish with it. So let's get started. Okay, here's our nice little stool that we're gonna uh, cover with that cowhide. First, we gotta get the old off. That means you take this gimp off here first. Coming off pretty easy. Just held on with these little tiny tacks that are oddly enough called gimp tacks to hold gimp on it. Pretty cool. Just little little guys. I don't know if you can see them, but just a little tack. Just today I'd glue it on. I've never used those except on certain situations, the beginning, the end, or on a corner, something like that. You might have noticed my uh, new outfit, my Cruise light sweatshirt instead of the t-shirt. That's because it's February and the shop is very cold. And my daughter and her fiance gave it to me for Christmas. So here I am. Nice, huh? All right, you can see the bottom is just tacked on. We'll knock that loose. There, not bad. There, want to make sure this you don't rip the cotton off with the fabric when you take it off. Phew, dusty. Should have my N95 on. All right, that's done. Oops, it almost went in. We got a few stray tacks up here that we'll take off. Nice little small screwdriver, great for staples, great for tacks, nothing fancy. Get it at a tag sale for 50 cents and you're in business. Now this side, get the tacks out of here. Make sure you don't leave any tacks in the cotton because somebody will find it a very inconvenient place. And that's happened before. All right, here we go. That's good. Now we're ready to measure it up. So we're going to go, because we're dealing with a leather, we're going to cut the leather exactly uh, to the measurement. Normally with fabric, you'd you might cut it over and give you, you know, it's easier to handle. You could fold it under. You don't have a raw edge when you tack it down or whatever. But with that, uh, that leather there, the thickness of it, sometimes you can fold it, but with the hair on it, you got to cut it exact. So we got 16. So we'll write that down. 16 wide by, let's see, we're going to go around it. And over to here, it looks like a good 20 inches so 16 by 20 and uh, we'll give that a cut I'll show you how to do that in a minute okay 
Now when you're cutting leather, you want to make sure you're cutting it where there's uh, uh, no blemishes or holes. Uh, regular leather, you, you got to be careful about that. Um, in this case, the customer wants some of this white with some of this brown. So it, it, you can't mark the top like you could with regular leather because of the, the uh, fur on it. But, uh, and I want to be fairly precise on the cut, so I'm going to have to do it from the back. But I want to know where I'm at. And when I flip it over, obviously I won't have any idea. So I, I know I want to be 20. And I got to see, you know, do I want this to be top to bottom or this to be top to bottom? Problem if I cut it 16 this way, this gets pulled under the stool, so you don't you don't see hardly any of the white. So if I make the 20 this way, you're going to get most of the white. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do a just a basic mark here. So when I flip it over, I know where I want to be working and cutting. I want to keep as much white as I can and. Uh, not have any problems with holes or anything like that. So that's a good section. So then I got to flip it over because the back I can I can mark easily. So let's see. There's my two marks there. So I'm going to be working right in this general area, and you can see we got the white there, and we got to get a little bit of a square. Whoops. That reminds me. I, I need a break here. Much better. Okay, I'm going to try to get as much white as I can. I know I need 20 inches of it. So we'll just kind of square it off here. The thing about leather is you can cut it nice and even and square but there's always tension. You cut it and then it moves or something else comes up. So we want it to be 16 by 20, just like the pilgrims at Plymouth Rock, 1620 they landed there. A little history lesson. Make sure that's long enough. Then we'll measure up our 16. And this is the figure I want to keep close so I don't overcut it and have a problem covering the stool with it. All right, and then we want to be roughly 20. Looks like the pen has stopped. That happens frequently with leather. It binds up the ball in the in the uh, thing. Oh, thank you. Look at that. Came from the sky. Isn't that amazing? Wow. All right. Go back to our twenty. Okay. So that'll be our piece. Hopefully it's going to look good when we cut it out of there. Oops. All right, here we go. A little, uh, little microphone malfunction, but we got it all right. So we'll do the cut. Um, many people cut with scissors. I like these roller cutters because just like that, you're done. You're cutting fur on the other side which it'll fall off and get all over the place so sometimes it's good some and sometimes it's kind of messy especially with a nice nice black shirt like this all right let's see let's see what we got here a little, little fur okay yeah, that's not a bad pace. And now we'll put it on the stool and see how it looks. Mm. Now to get to work. All right, we don't want this cotton floating around too much, so we'll 
tack it down with a couple of staples in the corners. You notice I kind of go underneath. That way there you still have the cotton on top that's not dented in or a staple isn't going to poke through it. All right, let's see how this looks. I guess that's not going to be too bad. Okay. I wonder if I could have doubled that over. No, that's kind of... This stuff is always kind of hard to work with. So I'll catch one side, then we'll bring it over to the next. Get that tight. We'll give that a shot. Upholstery's trial and error. Put things on, you take them off. Now I've got it attached. I'm just going to switch st staple guns. I'm going to use this stapler with this shoots out a really narrow staple that is hard to see and easily covered with decorative nails like these, which is exactly what we're going to be finishing it with. But you want to pull this over so you, you know, you're, you can just tack it and you're going to be okay. So put one there, one there, and that'll hold it in place. You see how I work it? I work the work it over, and you do that with fabric too. You just pull, it, push it, and work it, and work it. We'll get one in the middle here. You can use the design on the piece itself can give you a center right in there. So I know I'm going to put a tack there. So I gonna I can put a staple there. All right. That's pretty good. Actually, the other one for those. Going to fold it anyway. All right. Now I'm going to put those deco nail tacks in there. We know we want one in the center. We want to cover the staple that I put in there. Take a quick measure, make sure we're, we're centered more or less. Yeah, that's ten and five. So if we go like every inch, it should look pretty good. I'm using our special hammer with the nylon tip. We don't scrape the heads of the tack. That's fine. And we'll put a few down here.
I'll do the same on this side. I do make a gun that shoots these deco nails in, but for the amount of work I do, I still do it with the hammer. I don't know if you noticed or not, but if you look at the computer, you'll see my handsome face over there. YouTube where this video will be going shortly where you can watch them and subscribe and like and enjoy our fun filled upholstering tips that look pretty good make sure it's on there there looks good trim a little of this excess off so it looks finished Forget to keep your scissors sharp. There. That evens it off, finishes the bottom out. Most of the time you put a dust cover. This piece never had a dust cover on the bottom. So we've got our, our cowhide stool. Nice little barley twist. Nice design on it. Um, yeah. So that's our show for today. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. We love having you. We enjoy doing these things and have a great day.